Talk. Just say your names. Hey, Lauren. I'm, no, I'm Sarah. Carpenter and his daughter. <laughs> Being it's, interviewed yeah. by a musician. <laughs> exactly. How funny is that? People have been uh, watching your channel, Sarah, for about almost two years now. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure in nearly every video there's some trick or something you go, oh, my dad does it this way, oh, <laughs> this is, I uh, learned this from Waza. So now we get to meet. Yeah. I hope she hasn't picked up all my bad points. <laughs> I don't think they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> yep, finally, get yeah. to the man in the flesh. Out of the mess. <laughs> So we had rain and rain comes into dad's workshop, which really ticks him off, doesn't it, dad? It does. <laughs> anyway, so we've just cleaned up the mess. This is actually our second day working on this piece for my mum. We're refurbishing it from what it was. It used to be mine and we're changing it into a cabinet that she's had on her fridge for ages. We're making it look like that. Similar, not exact, but similar. So we're just using scrap wood that Dad already has and we're making drawers for it. We are going to be moving the cupboard doors uh, to make it more aligned like the picture. And So then we're going to put a petition wall here and here. Drawers. Did you want a draw here and a draw here? Or Dad will say a little draw there and a little draw there. No, no. I was Could saying I a little draw here like that oh. and another draw here like that. That's what you said before. And then nothing. And then shelf, shelf, shelf. Can I have the two drawers at the bottom different sizes? Yeah. One bigger than the other? Yeah. We're only going to put the drawers, see where the shelf is. Yeah. Touch them up there. You're gonna do the drawers from that shelf down. Yeah. But if you need to, can that come up a bit? Oh. No. That is a major job. Oh, all right. Well, that's all right. As long as the drawers, the drawers are different yeah, sizes. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, they will. And they're noticeably. And then the legs. I don't. I want different. I want the legs different. I thought you didn't want it too much higher because then you won't be able to put stuff on top. Exactly right. So you don't want the legs different. <laughs> Do you want the rounded edges off? We oh, can... something's happening. Oh. Do you want us to clean this up and come up and straight across so yes, it's more square good. than yeah. round? Yeah. Perfect. Yes? Straighten the legs. Yep. Shorten the door. Yep. Give me some drawers. Yep. Now the top looks a bit shitty, crooked. When you sit here and look that one way, what you are worried? Well, that's because it's wood. It's that's that's yeah. alright, we'll get them down, we'll screw them down. Right, okay, that's it, perfect. Is that it? Yep. Am I yep. done? Yep. We're just trying to make sure before we start cutting stuff from there. Uh -huh. So, Warren. You've been doing carpentry for quite a while. When did you first start to pick up tools and, and, and do that kind of thing? Uh, when I was about 16. And that's um, 60 years ago. <laughs> so it's quite a while now. In Australia, it's about a five-year course. And you loved it right away. Did you find it? Uh, or was it just something you did, or, or, or? Well, it's something I did. But then the day I finished my apprenticeship, I actually left and went around Australia, and I went kind of apple picking and diving and all sorts of other things. I, I fixed road puddles for a while <laughs> up in the north. Of Australia in the Northern Territory, and then I became a, um, a tourist guide in the Catherine Gorge in the far Northern Territory. Done a few things. Done a few things. And Sarah, you as a uh, what do they say? My Austra my Australian is not as good as Australians. <laughs> Australians a little little tight. What what are they? A little tight. A little yeah. tight. Watching your dad uh, do his things. Do you have any memories of just being around him while he was in a shop or anything like that? Always, yeah. Probably not until later on, like when we lived at the farm. Yeah. 
but you did it more because we were living on a flower farm and dad was doing more building and taking care of and constructing constructing stuff and then I was around him while he was doing that we had a big massive shed yeah. and, all that. and all the tools and get lost in there with all exploring all the things that dad had collected and put in there yeah. <laughs> but yeah no I just always remember dad and tools and anytime I would be curious or come out to the garage, Dad would say, hey, come and do this. Like he does it now with Hope. While we were home with Hope, he was like, Hope needed to do something. And so, classic Dad. Yeah. Well, that was a great experience with Hope. Mm. Because I Hopey. taught her much to <laughs> her horrified mother how to use a, a yeah, jigsaw. Yeah, it's, it's one thing for Dad to teach me, but then I was like, <laughs> oh, no, don't. I don't want her to chop her fingers off. <laughs> But you were good, you didn't cut any fingers off, mm. and I didn't hold the tool, you actually did all the, the cutting, didn't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she made, made a present to you. Yeah. For Phil. Yeah. You can now replace your job. Oh, <laughs> when you retire. Yeah. When I retire, Hope's going to take over. <coughs> <laughs> um, this is the project. Yeah. The project. I'm taking apart for Mum. This is. Repurposing. Yeah, we'll take it. Because they're glued on. Yeah. Nailed on. Yeah. Glued and nailed. Mm. Oh. Don't see the glue there. Bugger. They were messy. Alright. You just do the sideways, see? Eh? Mm. You know that, don't you? Mm hmm. I'm surprised that Mum even allowed that. <laughs> it's a size door. Yeah. Uh -uh. I wasn't going to argue that. So make sure it cover our ears. Our ears are very important because a lot of people end up deaf. <laughs> yeah. uh, see that's tongue and groove too. Even though this is not in. Have you got one of these? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Okay. Four, four twenty to there. One thing that I think people really love about your channel and about how you work is that you just, one of the things you say at the beginning of every one of your videos is, all right, let's get into it, let's get stuck into it. Mm -hmm. And no matter what it is, you just you just go for it. Um, 
regardless sometimes of whether you actually know how it's going to look in the in the end, you you, you give it a go, yeah. you just have a go. I don't think that's probably something you picked up from. Yeah, or even the process, like hmm. doing this piece of furniture, wouldn't you say? Like we weren't, it, we're not furniture makers, but yeah. I know my dad, dad will look at it and he'll figure out how to do it and yeah. do it. And that's what we did, this okay. piece of furniture that we remade for mum. Well, the thing is too that what, what I like about Sarah is I've always said to Sarah and Matthew, the hardest part, and I've actually said that to Samuel in quite a few instances too, the hardest part about any job is starting it. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing when you start a job is finishing it. Yeah. So. So yeah, regardless of if I even know what I'm doing, I'll just jump in and give it a go because that's what Dad did. Yeah, well certainly this has been an experience for me because I'm not a, a cabinet maker, mm. I'm a carpenter, which is a huge difference. Yeah. It's been really enjoyable. I, I've learned a lot too in that process. Mm. So you can, mm. You're never too old to learn. No, and a lot of it's learning by experience then. You've had years of experience of what not to do, yeah. <laughs> how to do it different yeah. and better next time around. It's a lot of what I do too, I, I learn what not to do next time. You used to work with me though too, when before, before you went we back left. to the United States. Mm. And that was a good experience because you were working hands on all the time with me. Yeah. And one thing about Sarah is, I was saying to mum just a couple of days ago, I said, Every time I turned around and I wanted something, I didn't have to say, pass the planer. She had the planer in her hand and handed it to me. And the same thing with the square or a level or uh, my knife. And I was always <laughs> losing my tape. Couldn't help you with that though, because I lose mine all the time as well. <laughs> but she had it. She had it and she was there. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun. That, uh, just <laughs> I always lose my tape measure as well. Must be in our DNA, though. Oh, that's why I always wear an apron. Well, put your belt on. Huh? Put your belt on. Yeah. You just had it. Where did you just put it? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work away from that. I'm going to work 210 here and split it down to the, that we want for the drawers. But really, I shouldn't rip it all the way through, should I? I could only take what we want, which is so 350 from the split. I'm just looking at trying to give that drawer, uh, the door, mm. just a little bit of more depth. Yeah. Height. Mm -hmm. There, you mm. pull down on that a little bit, just a little bit more. Beautiful. Let it go. Nice. Yep. Nice. Okay. need is 
good. Do you need glue? Yep. What's up? Yeah. Yep, right, turn that one up. Put him on those two lines. Yep. Yep. This is 30 up this end mm. and 25 down this end. So here's 30. Is that look alright? Yeah. There's two on. So take one packer out. The top side will never bind. It's always the bottom that sags, isn't it? You with me? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that and that lining up now? Yep. Okay. It's got to be in line with that one, doesn't it? Or it doesn't matter. Yeah. Over there. The other thing is too, is being a carpenter for so long, and loving wood. I've always loved wood in the way I never would go. But Sarah came home the other night, or oh, about four or five nights ago, and said, Dad, Dad, I saw this dresser on the side of the road down in Jesmond. Um, can you come and get it for me? And we went down there, of yeah. course, and had a look, look at, at this it. poor old discarded dresser with rubbish that all one. over it. That one, and yeah. I had a new appreciation for painting wood. <gasps> Wooden sides. It is. Yep. It's really cool. Because had had we not taken that on board and then actually spent a lot of time sanding it back and then um, actually painting it, it would be now in the in, in, the, the, in, the, dump. in the dump somewhere. Yeah. So it's given me a whole new appreciation of people repurposing mm. and re redoing, you know, furniture that would not be easy to or look good if you just yeah. sand it back and then restart, restained it and then varnished it. So <coughs> it gave me a whole new yeah. appreciation. Sarah, you do get comments on your channel sometimes <coughs> from purists, from wood purists who say <laughs> things like, I used oh, to you one. ruined it. Yeah, you ruined a you ruined a beautiful piece of wood. What they don't understand, and what I see when I come into your shop a lot of times, is that you've gone over the entire piece and realized, oh, this is this is just a laminate. This is not. This is going to take way too much time, and it's not going to. I'm not going to be able to turn a profit if I spend too much time. So you're taking all of those things into account, and like Warren said, you're repurposing, yeah. re repurposing them, not just painting, because that's just the easy thing to do. Yeah, and, and people can have. <clears throat> Yeah. Their opinion. Yeah. I think there's just a respectful way that you can have it without attacking a person personally. But the other <laughs> side of that too is not even if they're being disrespectful, 
yeah. um, you don't have to take that on board. That's right. You know? That's right. And that's a hard thing to do, very hard thing to do, because we, we all like to be appreciated <laughs> and we all like to uh, think that, you know, we're doing the right thing in our eyes. But if we're not, that's, a, that's okay. If other people want to think that, that is okay. Mm. The hardest thing is to genuinely yeah. respect that thought. You know, and it, and it is. Yeah. You know. Respect it when you know you're not going to get it back from a person. Yeah. 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 And choose your battles. Like, like I've been telling you, you don't have to engage with every person who has a bad it yeah. and it's not like that we're making it sound like there's a lot of bad opinions there's just a few no, people who i have 90 percent encouraging even people who support me and, and and i know genuinely care about me say that wasn't my cup of tea and i've said this before on my channel people say that's not my cup of tea but i can see you put a lot of effort and work into that and thought and so, i can i can appreciate that and certainly a lot of work yeah <laughs> And I, I appreciate that conversation because somebody has recognized, like you were saying, that I put a lot of work into it, but have also expressed their opinion, which is it's not their cup of tea. Because yeah. it's insane if I expect everybody to like everything yeah. that I do. That's just crazy. I even said to a lady today, she told me to stop painting furniture and I said, one, I'm a furniture painter and two, I don't hate wood, wood grain at all. I love it, but you know, people are going to have their opinions sure. and I yeah. just always try yeah. to live my life in a place of respect for people. People are important, their thoughts and feelings and efforts are important and I want to live my life that way. So I, I do a cop a lot of flack from people who don't live their life that way and don't care what they say and don't realise the hard work or consideration or any of that sort of stuff. <coughs> Paint department. Mm -hmm. And I've got some coat to put over it anyway. Okay. Exactly. What? She said, how did you hear her stepping? You're deaf. No, I've got my ears in today. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, pain now, cross step, I'll turn it. Keep dry, bro. <laughs> Not a chamfer, it's an arras. So you just, just take the edge off. Yep. That's all. Alright, so <coughs> we're up to two drawers just down here in the bottom. So what Dad has done is found some old wood. This is going to be the bottom drawer and then this is the top drawer. He's cut out of more scrap wood, two sides and the back, two sides and the back for that drawer. And then we're going to slide in the base of the drawer in there. And then we're going to glue it and nail it all in and show you guys how we do that. This is not a tutorial. This is just a, we're, you're tagging along <laughs> seeing how we do it. On the side skew or from the front in that way, the nails. And then, then we're going to have to bog up the nails. Well, I mean, the whole thing's full of nail holes. Yeah, yeah true. So it won't be out of place. No, okay. Because you see all the trim. Yeah. Now, I'm going to leave all my tapes again. I had no doubt. Huh? I said, 
that I had no doubt. We have we haven't attached this yet, but we're gonna do that in a minute. Dad has just attached this. It's uh, a spacer, and then this is to separate the top and the bottom drawers. Bottom drawer slips in there like that, and that's gonna be our partition wall. We're gonna screw in a piece of wood there, and then screw this into place. And then we've got our second drawer which slides on those spaces, right? That went across there nicely. So, ta-da! <laughs> We've got some finessing to do. We're gonna trim up, use some offcut there, trim it, trim it up, put it in there so you can't see down in there, but it's coming together. Well, I've certainly found out over this last, um, what, three and a half weeks that you've been here, mm. it's certainly something that I would not take on. Uh, it's an enormous effort goes into just that one little piece. Yeah. And, uh, mm. Plus the video editing and all oh, that stuff on top yeah, of it. Well, yeah. so yeah. I'll be in my grave if I do that. <laughs> I'm not very. Technology <laughs> is not my cup of tea. Now. But again, again, that's uh, it wasn't Sarah's either, and it's just it's that same attitude of I'll give it a go, I'll learn how to do this as I go, yeah. and she has. She's, she's been really, if I can be <coughs> boastful of you and your husband, <laughs> it's done really well. Okay, I just stay I don't think I had recorded it or did it go flat? Anyway, staining all the bits that we've cut. So dad put on here thin slices of wood because this is ply and the ends of ply are just gross looking. So uh, I'm staining everything in maple because walnut just wasn't right. Even though this, I got this piece right when years ago and it's basically made of scraps of wood which is what I wanted so now I'm just staining it up to match everything that's there mostly in maple but I am going to be staining it a little bit in walnut but maple's mostly the color that it needs to be See if I can do this real quick. Because the battery light is about to go off. Oh yeah. Maple was the right color. That looks so much better. Oh mum's gonna like that, isn't she? Hope so. I think not a whole lot she can do if she doesn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's not a whole lot we can do if she doesn't. We can't put it no, back. No, um, we can put some no, holes in it or something. Yeah. And what we should do, we really want to get, we do a couple of holes, right? Mm. And then put walnut in into them. Yeah. Wipe like them there. off. Mm. Yeah. You got it, babe. You got it. <laughs> Video going? Mm-hmm. Yep. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Now it matches the rest of it. Aged in minutes. Huh? Aged in minutes. <laughs> Like we didn't build it out of scrap wood. <laughs> so good. All right. So Dad and I are finally done on this piece. It was so much fun to work with him. We took a really old piece, probably about 20, 30 years old, and repurposed it into something that looks a little different. It was a lot of fun to work with dad again, to watch him just go through the process in his mind and we would chatter out loud. And what can I say? You guys have heard me talk about my dad before. Uh, did some other things in his lifetime, but he is a carpenter down to his socks. I have learned so much from him. He has taught me so much even being back here for the last four weeks. And, but over my life, right? My dad and I work together and he's taught me a lot about carpentry and fixing things and making things better and taking something that is old and making it new again. He's my original. <laughs> For me and my DIYer before it was the popular thing to do, <laughs> Dad has always done that his whole entire life, at least as long as I've known him. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that you enjoyed watching him and I work together. Dad? Working with you over these last few weeks has been a dream come true. I have been dreaming about it <laughs> for ages and I've loved it. You are an amazing human. I'm so proud to call you my dad. Thank you for all that you've taught me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and got value, remember to hit that subscribe and bell notification and there's also a whole bunch of things down in the description you could join memberships uh, remember to go follow me on my instagram and facebook page i post reels and things like that over there all the time and i just look forward to sharing 2023 with you guys i love you to bits and i'll see you on the next video bye anyway it's certainly been um Great to have the whole family here and to go go karting and surfing and ten pin bowling and yep. surfing. And, uh, <laughs> Lots of beach time. Yes. Yeah. And um, certainly our life will be a lot duller when you guys go and go back. That's for sure. Well, this is Warren. 445 Designs World. This is Sarah's dad, and uh, you finally get to meet the man yeah. who inspired Sarah. Yeah. So. Bye. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>